Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, I thought we'd take a closer look at my House of the Dead 4 arcade cabinet. So, obviously we got the overall look going here, you know, or the overall view. Now, the guns themselves, these guns are not like those guns. The main difference is these guns need sensors around the monitor. Now, you got these guns right here, your typical HAP arcade guns. Got to try and focus in here. Okay, so, these guns, they can be used on a CRT monitor and only a CRT monitor. The reason being, um, it, it, it's the flash, you pull the trigger, there, there's a flash on screen, and based on where the sensor is and, and the flash, it, it registers the bullet. These guns are not like that. These guns actually use sensors around the monitor. You can see them right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you need those uh, sensors in order to use these guns. And the guns themselves, really nice, you know. Take a, a comparison. So you got your standard hap gun. And size comparison, you can see where the House of the Dead 4 arcade guns rank in terms of size. You got your trigger, and over there, you got your grenade button. These guns are expensive. Um, Suzo Hap has these, I think, for about $600 brand new. So, I guess if I wanted to, I could part out this cabinet. And to the right people, I could probably get, uh, you know, a lot more than... Or I can definitely get a lot more than what I paid for it. Uh, you know, if you just happen to find someone who's looking for guns and they don't want to spend $600... You could probably sell even used ones for four or five hundred. Uh, the cabinet, I don't know, maybe in one fifty. The marquee right there, that's you know, could be another twenty-five to fifty bucks. The monitor itself, probably one fifty, and that's not even counting the hardware on the inside. You notice we're missing some T molding. I thought about stripping the T molding off of this and going for uh, a bright green somewhat like this but I don't know alright so we got the side right here we got the side art as far as I know you can't get this art any place I've looked and looked and looked and I can't find it so where it exists I don't know so let's go ahead and take a look at the inside right here actually let's first take a look at this let's see this key I know it's this one got so many keys here there we go so you gotta take a look at the inside right here just your typical setup your test switch your service switch a uh, volume knob uh, coin counters or gameplay counters whatever you want to call them so really not much right there. Now I forgot to mention in the previous video of this arcade cabinet, got a different key. She's got so many keys here. Look at this, I got uh, five keys. Chances are some of them are doubles. And a screw. Just checking, you never know if the person forgot to put money, take money out of there. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. First of all, I've always hated these goddamn bars. Oh well. Uh, the person I got this from, they had actually pieced together this cabinet. Um, I got it on the forums, the KLOV forums, and they pretty much just bought the cabinet empty and pieced it all back together. So they bought the guns separately. Apparently they found 
side art somewhere. I don't know where. Or maybe there was that one. I don't know. There's another side art which takes up the whole side right here. But yeah, uh, they got the a reproduction marquee, I believe, a new monitor, or replaced the monitor. They had to purchase the sensors, and then they purchased everything on the inside. So let's take this off. Uh, ooh, dirty. All right, so here we are. Here's everything. Jesus. So yeah, the previous owner pieced this all together. I mean, I'm sure he got uh, you know the main hardware with you know some of these other components. But uh, if I remember the history correctly, he had to buy the power supply. He had to rewire everything. So what I paid for this, you know. <laughs> First of all, I got it for a very good deal. Um, I'm still not going to say the exact amount of what I got it for, just you know, out of respect for the seller. Um, but goddamn, I got a really good deal. So you can see, I mean, it's not as nice and clean as say if it was straight from the factory, and that's obviously because you know the guy had to repiece it together. What do we got here? Looks like we got some extra parts. We have some USB cables. All right. Not quite sure why these are in there. But, um, okay. Anything else? Maybe some spare $100 bills in there? That would be pretty cool. Speaking of money found in games, I think the most I ever found in a game was, um... My tabletop uh, touchscreen, which my wife uses, um, I think I found like $35 in there. It was somewhere between $25 and $50. Um, in our, not counting that, in arcade cabinets, I think the most I found was uh, maybe about 5 to $10 in quarters. And then I once found like 250 tokens in a cabinet. So let's just take a look at the inside. Let's see. Nice, everything's put together. Uh, the main reason I'm doing this is someone had asked to see the inside, and although it's not as you know nice and clean as they probably would have hoped, but yeah, you can see everything here. I'll probably eventually, you know, get some ties, tie everything down, make it a little nice, nicer and cleaner. But yeah. Now, I would assume, huh? I guess not. I, I was kind of hoping that this would be like um, the Mortal Kombat One cabinet where you can pull off a panel and then this will actually slide out but yeah if I ever had to do some work on it I have to unbolt everything from here so it can be a pain now this thing is loud um, yeah let me set this down just take a look right there I will plug this in you can see just how loud the fan is on this thing. Here, take a look at that masterpiece right there. Alright, here we go. Alright. So it's starting up and you can see just how loud it is. But, the good thing is, once you put the cover back on, you won't even really pay that much attention. Let me review everything as it's running. 
I would assume this thing gets really hot on the inside, so it's best if you do have a fan in there to get all that heat out. Get the fan right here from the power supply. Yeah. Now, another cool thing is when you power it up, these lights come on. So that's a really cool feature, especially if you're playing in the dark. You know, it just adds a little bit of extra. So, you can see how, or you can hear how loud it is now. Let me go ahead and put the cover back. And there, a lot less noisy. <sighs> I'm not sure when I'll release this video. Uh, today's date is August 5th, and I'm home right now. I'm not at work. Uh, the reason I'm not at work is the company gave everybody the day off, kind of a company celebration, and everyone was invited to go fishing for 12 hours on a yacht or a boat or something that floats. Well, it's not really my thing, so myself and some others, we just, you know, we're like, eh, we'll pass. The cool thing is, we still get paid. So, yeah, very nice. So, you know, today I figured I'd just record some videos. I'm going to go get a tattoo, a couple hours. Um, but there, the game's starting, so, yeah, just a short video giving a overall look. A deeper look at the House of the Dead 4 arcade cabinet. And that's it for now. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.